Hi, I'm Florence, a French life science student from Agrocampus West. As I always live by the sea, I used to wonder what is going on under it. So when Jan, a senior researcher from DTU Aqua, offered me an internship about reef restoration in Denmark, I just jumped at the opportunity. So here is a video tracing my journey as a fieldwork intern at DTU Aqua. work house so my name is Tim uh, I'm a PhD student at DTU Aqua and currently I'm leading the project here uh, in Sundarbans and, and all the field activities my name is Johan and I'm a marine biologist who specialized in reef fish and environmental DNA. My name is Carl. I'm a regional graduated uh, aquatic uh, engineer. Hi, my name is Ossane. I'm from France. I'm here for a three months uh, internship. Hi, uh, my name is Elisenda. I'm a biology student from Barcelona. Hi, I'm Dermot. I'm a student from Ireland and I'm doing an internship here at DTU Aqua. According to the UN Sustainable Development Goals, marine areas are threatened by environmental degradation, overfishing, climate change and pollution. The preservation of marine and coastal ecosystems and their biological diversity is essential to ensure that benefits worldwide, and the project tries to fulfill this objective. What's really excited about this project is that we are currently in an area where historically there have been a lot of rocks that were removed from the seabed. So a lot of fishermen, they, they, they took out the rocks um, and were selling them uh, for the construction of, of bridges, harbors um, and also uh, buildings in, in Western Europe. Um, and what that means is that um, in the past century a lot of marine species have lost their habitat here in this bay. And what we're now actually doing is we're restoring uh, this habitat. So we are building uh, reefs again. And in that way, we're sort of giving something back to nature that was long ago uh, lost. A lot of species relies on these reefs. For example, cod requires a large and diverse range of habitats. Let me show you. First, eggs are released in open waters. Then, larvae are settling in eelgrass. And actually, eelgrass is a great habitat for smaller fish as it provides more shelters and thus they are less likely to be predated. Juveniles are growing in sandy gravels to finally be adults that are staying around rocky slopes and boulders. This migration occurs because these two other habitats offer more nutritional resources for cod. As you can see, wild fishes that are available in shops require a lot of different habitats. Without the needed habitats, sustainable fish population can't persist. That's why restoring reefs is such an important part for protecting these species. I'm monitoring reef with uh, fieldwork teams. We used to boat every day to deploy cameras and uh, uh, just analyze and look on the recording what's going on uh, under the sea. We are looking at the biodiversity and abundance of fish and the other animals around the reefs to see if uh, the development of the reef will uh, provide a uh, better habitat during the years. Thank you. 
put it on the rope when you're ready. Ready? Yeah. In order to be able to compare our results, we need to assess salinity and secchi depths in each site. So we're gonna put this in the water and see how deep it's, go it's going until we can't see it anymore. And then we're gonna see how long the rope is. Right, let's go. <laughs> After each day of field work, we used to fill in the data sheets for further analysis. We also had to empty the SD cards by transferring the recordings to hard drives. As an intern at DTU Aqua, I had the opportunity to discover a world that I thought I knew but in fact was a bit unfamiliar to me. I learned a lot about marine biology, sampling and protocols. I really enjoyed the fieldwork and to have uh, the sea as an office. And I found it really interesting because it's a way to apply biological knowledge in a project that um, actually makes a change in the environment. I think I was very lucky to be welcomed by such a great team that turned my internship abroad in unforgettable. Thank you for reminding me about those magic tricks. I can't wait to show you. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 